Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits. Today, joined by Brett of Anomyces, checking out another cloud water beer. It's been a while since I had a cloud water beer, actually. And uh, I thought the train of IPA was done for a bit, but we're back. <laughs> yeah. But we have other stuff today. It's not like as crazy as the last year. It's much more mixed today. Yes. So, uh, this is the cloud water double dry hop pale citra BBC mosaic. BBC is a new hop product. Apparently, it's uh, higher concentrated, kind of like pellet stuff, or was it? Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure. I didn't completely read up on it. It's but like it, a pure pure hop yeah. product, product or something yeah. I talked about. Uh, whatever. I haven't tried using it myself, but uh, this Citra BBC is hopped with 16 grams of double dry hop. So also, so 16 grams per liter of the double dry hopping into it. So it's double dry hop, 16 grams per liter, and uh, they use mosaic and Citra BBC, and then. Laurel and cryo form, and then a tannum, which I think is maybe for bittering, I don't know. And then the yeast is London Fog from White Labs, and then Pilgrim CO2 Alpha Extract for bittering. Yeah, it's only a, only the, the Pilgrim CO2 Alpha Extract that's yeah. bittering hop. That's oh yeah, aroma hops. Yeah. Uh, a tannum, interesting. And then malt is Golden Promise Flaked Oats, Dextrin Malt, and Wheat. We're actually getting Dextrin Malt at the brewery, so to play around with. Oh, cool. So 5.5%. Uh, Check it out. So yeah. pour is a very nice, bright golden yellow yeah. in the glass. It's actually one of the thicker uh, looking cloud water beers I've had in a while. I've been quite disappointed in them for a bit, yeah. but this looks very nice. Yeah. Some of the recent, well, I've been, I haven't had like for a few months, but the ones I had prior to that, I wasn't as. Yeah, I, I feel kind of the same, but. But yeah, let's check out the aroma. Yep. Yeah. Mm, quite nice. Yeah. A little bit, actually kind of soft. Actually. Mm, it's very um, soft dankness, soft blueberry. Yeah. Sweet citrus. It has kind of a lemon rind. Yeah. Tiny lemon rind. Yeah. Like l I'm almost thinking of a lemon or orange sorbet kind of. A lemon drop candy. That's yeah. from Laurel. I'm yeah. Pretty sure because I think I remember Laurel being like super lemon forward. Yeah. It opens a bit up as you smell it more. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's well, quite nice. Maybe a bit of a melony note too. Yeah, lightly. Yeah. Hmm? Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. A bit more mellow on the flavor. Hmm. Maybe. But it has some good yeast ester. I think it's very juicy actually. Yeah, much more but juicy. But quite balanced between yeah. bright juiciness and also a hop character. Hmm. Um, like. It has like that. Juicy, almost like uh, a melon character, which I think can be a yeast ester yeah. too. I think it's very melony. And then what's a lemon to me? It's yeah. lemon yeah. candy galore. Yeah, but do do you uh, do you get kind of a sensation where it really like uh, it falls on the palate like yeah like a melon? Yeah, like, yeah, it goes away like that. Yeah. It's like spike and then done. Yeah. There's not much aftertaste. The aftertaste I'm left with a bit of the, like a. Uh, powdery, malty flavor, dusty malt flavor. Yeah. And a little bit of just like maybe grassy lemon skin, yeah. grassiness. And the way it Which kind of, um, it's very, very smooth, the way it sort of hits the palate and yeah, then, then it just, yeah. Yeah, it's like smooth and gone. Yeah, exactly. Like very, very drinkable. Yeah, yeah crusher for sure. Yeah. Uh, citra, maybe not so much citra flavor, other than just your, your classic orange flavors. I think for me yeah. the big standout is kind of like moral, mm. um, but I think that's because I got that lemon drop candy in my head. Yeah, bit of blueberry note from the mosaic as well. Yeah, I agree. But it's but also that candy. that melony note. It's it kind of it's kind of a fun balance. Certainly better than the cloud water beers I had. Yeah. Uh, before I went to the states, mm. but I don't think it's on the level as some of the stuff I've had as of recent. Like the last pa or no. a pale ale I had was uh, four point four point. Yeah. So. A yeah, it's, it's not on that level, but no, it's, no, but it's, it's definitely, definitely good. good. Yeah, yeah. So it's part of their spring and summer seasonal series. Mm. Uh, rating wise, for me, I'm thinking like a 92. Yeah, I was thinking 92. That's a fair grade, hmm? I think. Nice stuff. So if you guys had a chance to try the Cloud Water Double Dry Up Pale Citra BBZ Mosaic Summer and Spring Seasonal, well, let us know what you thought of it. And uh, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.